Yes guys, my name is Morsi and welcome back to my channel. In today's video we are back with some wholesome silver content. We got new Man of the Matches released last Friday. I'm yet to try out a silver Man of the Match this year. I know, shocking. The amount of silver cards I use, the amount of silver videos I do. This man could be one of the quickest silver cards in FIFA 21. We have got Denmark's finest right back, Yeppi Simonson. I probably completely butchered that name. So here's the man in all his glory, Mr. Yeppi Simonson. 10.5k he did cost me. I'll double check how much he's going for in a minute. He was released last Friday with a bunch of Man of the Matches. I'm not too sure if he's still in packs, but I didn't even notice him. He was too blinded by Emile Smith, bro. I saw the Arsenal badge. I had to get that man in. And this guy slipped under my radar. And I'm glad I noticed him today because his stats look crazy. Off the bat, he's six foot high, medium, right footed with two star, four star. So only two star skill moves. That's fine. We've got plenty of five star skillers in the team. You're going to see in a minute. So two star isn't the end of the world. In regards to his stats, 91 acceleration, 98 sprint speed. He's got very solid dribbling stats. I have put a finisher chem style on him. You're probably thinking why I'm putting a finisher on a right back. You will find out very, very soon. Agility and balance are okay for a silver. The rest of the dribbling is okay. Defending and physical stats are good. Considering he's a right back, it makes sense for those to be up there. But he's also got decent shooting stats. So for a right back slash right wing back to have decent shooting stats is a nice little bonus. So it lets me the lads that this chap is going to be carrying in today's video. I've got six FC Midland players. The irony is... The reason this guy got the man of the match is because he scored two goals in a 3-1 win against this team. But these are the boys I'm going to be using in today's video. The Midland lads, I've used a lot of them in the past. For example, Onyeka, Mabil. Evander is a five-star skiller, one of the original Brasilvers. And this trio at the back look absolutely solid. I will go into a little bit of detail on each player in a second. Before I do that, I just want to say a massive thank you to all you guys for the recent support. I know the footballing world is in an absolute shitstorm. It's all over the place, we don't know what's gonna happen, so I just wanna say thank you for continuing to watch my videos and supporting me, I very much appreciate it. So starting off in goal, we got Jonas Lossel, this man's six foot five, he's an absolute unit, 350 coins, and I'm not too sure if he's an Everton player or an FC Midland player, but there's an Everton version of this card on the game also. And this chap also has rushes out a goal and comes for crosses traits, which is fine by me. You can come at the goal all you like, mate, as long as you don't let too many hit. We're starting off with Alexander Schultz. He's a centre back, six foot two, medium high, five fifty coins. He ended up costing me, and he's a pretty, you know, standard silver centre back. Nothing really to shout about. The defending, the physical stats are very nice. Agility is a little bit on the low side, but that's fine. So is pace. But it's not the end of the world. Our other set of backs shall make up in the pace department. We've got Mr. Ailton. This guy also has a Stuttgart card. I've seen a lot of people linking him up to Silas Wamigatuka's Silver Star. 2.6k, he cost me a little bit more expensive, but he's got that Brazilian link, which is very, very valuable in silver teams these days. High, medium, 3 star, 2 star, 5 foot 11. And he is a bit of a pace fiend. He's got decent defending and physical stats also and the dribbling stats. He will make a very, very good centre-back partner for our boy Schultz. At left back, we've got Paolo Atavio. This is by star skiller number one in this team. I'm not even going to go into this card because I use him in every damn video. Because all the lads, Paolo, Atavio, Wallace, Dalbert and Marcos Andre, we know the deal already. Five star skill ballers. So we're going to try and get the spotlight away from these guys in this video. Evander also is in my Brasilva team. Another five star skiller, so we're going to keep him where he is. On Yeka. If you guys have not seen the silver cards yet, I believe he was like one of the original silver beasts this year. Before silver stars started coming out, high, high, three star, three star. And for a silver card, just a standard silver card, if this guy was like a little bit lower and got himself a silver star, be absolutely jacked. Absolute unit of a card, and he's actually going to be playing right back for me. You'll find out why in a second. And then to finish off the team, we've got my Bill, another FC Midland player. Medium low, four star, three star, 350 coins he cost me. And he's pretty much pace dribbling. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this chap. Custom tactics, we're rocking pressure on heavy touch, five whip and seven depth. And the formation is 4-4-2 brackets two. And this is where it gets a little bit saucy. On Yeka, starting off as a CDM, is going to be playing right back for us. Dalbert and Wallace are the middle two CDMs. Mabil, Evander at either side of those two. And then Marcus Andre and Siemensen is starting up front. So right back turned striker. Why not? Let's have some fun of it, guys. Fingers crossed he's an absolute beast. I'm sure he is. I've got nothing but high hopes. Let's get into some gameplay. So we're going to hop into some Silver Lounge or the Playground or whatever classic friendly vibe I'm feeling right now, guys. Have a bit of fun. Test out Simonson. See if he is an underrated silver hidden gem because for 10.7k, that's pretty damn good for a silver card. Majority of the silver informs tend to be 30k and extinct at the moment. So what I'll do is compile all the clips from these next few games into a montage and catch up with you afterwards.
But anyway, guys, I'm going to end the video here. I hope you enjoyed as always. If you're new, please do consider dropping me a subscription down below if you enjoyed today's video. Drop me a like and leave me a comment. Let me know how you're doing and how your week is going so far. And I'll catch you soon for another video. Take it easy.